Okay. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Okay, it's time to solve the last two centers on the Rubik's. I mean, the V cube, seven by seven. Green on bottom. Make sure the green's on the bottom, the blue's on the top, and the orange is on the left. The yellow's in the back. The last two you're gonna need to solve is the black and the red. I saved those two because they're the darker colors, and I like doing the lighter colors first. I'm gonna bring light a little bit farther over here because these are darker colors. Hopefully you can see them. Okay, sorry if you can't see them, but you know I could. Hmm. Would that look different? Oh yeah, that's outside. Hey, outside. Okay. Let's just do it from the way we usually do it. Okay. Now it's time to solve the two last centers. Okay, this one's different than solving the other ones. Because on this one, you're going to have to solve the many 3x3s three three inside each of them. So, find out which side is which side. This is the red, black side. This is the red side. Okay, now it's time to solve the little mini three by threes. Okay, if you have, if you know how to solve five by five, this will be easy because it's just like solving a five by five centers. But if you don't, it's what you do. Uh, I'll put. But first, let me make sure that even bring that over this and bring that down. Uh, uh, that's something you can do. Okay, here we go. Make sure if you have a situation like this where there's one a cor uh, out of cor out of position corner that's re red in the black side, there's gonna be one in the red side which is gonna be black. Make sure that's directly on the bottom right side. That's on the bottom. That's the top right side. And then do this. We will bring this up, bring this over, and bring this down. See, you flip this like that. Put that like that, and you can see you have a finished red side, a finished green. Flip it so you have uh, that red side facing right there. Flip it so it'll take the place of the black. Flip it back down, and now you'll have just these things to do. See how the red, the black is completely finished, but there's a little red spot, and the red's completely finished, but there's a little green spot. Okay, do this. Make sure that. The red is the red is uh, facing up with the black around it, and then make sure the black's facing up with the red around it. And this is what you're gonna need to do: take these three, flip them up. Take these three, flip them up. Flip the front side. Flip these down. Oh, flip the first one down. Flip it up. And then we will do this. You'll flip these two back down. Then you'll flip it front. Then you'll flip these two back up. And you'll take that orange back. And you can see that you have just solved the mini 3x3 three three black in there. And a mini 3x3 three three red in there. You didn't mess any of these up. Okay, now it's time for the fun part of solving the last two. Okay, hold it so the red's on this side and the blue's on this side. Okay, now it's just time to solve the other ones, just like a 5x5, five five, except bigger. Okay, like I just told you, find one like that. See how that red's in the top, oh, what's it called, top right-hand corner, and the black's on the top left, the bottom left corner, well, on the bottom right corner. That's on the top top right corner sorry I'm messed up today okay you'll bring this up bring that up and then bring it back down okay now let's flip these out with that one so make sure this will take the place of that one like I told you okay like I told you before whoa don't want that to happen okay Make sure the black's in the bottom right hand corner. The red's on the top right hand corner. Okay. Got that right today. Bring that up. That way. 
bring this back up. Okay, and I'll make sure that this will take the position of that one. Up over and over again. And there you go. Now you should have like the red that looks like that. But we don't have a perfect same cube, so it's probably not going to look like that. And a black that looks like that. Okay, turn it. Because you're going to ha probably have one that looks like this. Turn it so the red is right there. Which one, two, three. And the fourth one's red and the fifth one's black. Look up. There should be a one, two, three red. And then a black. Then a fifth red. You need to get that piece right there. So what do we do? You're going to need to do this. Flip these three right here and flip these right there. You will then need to turn it like this. Bring this black down. Bring this up like that. Then bring these two down. Then you will need to see how that black's right there. You're going to need to flip this. Black. You'll bring it back up and you just solved that red piece and now you're closer to solving it. Let's do it again. Flip it. See that red with the blacks? See those red with that one black? Let's do it again. Flip it up, up, down, this way. And there you go. You now have this little two little black thing and then these mixed apart ones. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this one. Complete opposite, see how that's red, black, red, red. Okay. See, this one is black, red, red, black, black. Just pretend that that red is a black. And then here we go. I'm gonna bring these two up. Bring this like that. Bring it up. Then bring these last two down. Spin it like that. And put in that place. Okay? Now, you've probably seen this before. See, just a little red at the top. That little black at the top. Okay, make sure the blue's on the left hand corner, green's on the right, orange on the bottom. Yeah, orange on the bottom and yellow in the back. And make sure that the black is up, make sure that red is up, and do this. Bring that black up, bring that black up. Bring that up. Bring that down. Bring that up. Bring these two down. Flip it. Bring that up. And you have just, if you did that correctly, exactly how I did it, you had just finished all the centers on a 7x7 V cube. See? All the centers are completely finished. Okay, the next part in solving the 7x7 that we're going to need to do. Is edge pairing where we, if you know how to solve a five by five, you'll know where you edge up all the, you pair up all the edges to make one big edge. See how this? That's a blue orange. You'll make that a whole thing a blue orange, and you just completely edge it up. We'll show that in the next part. Okay.